As you know, pluggable transceivers are simple. You just plug them in. But one thing you do need to keep in mind is optical input power. Hi, my name is Patrick Beer, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Add-on. And in this video, I'm going to explain the importance of optical input power for fiber optic communication. A common mistake that happens when using optical transceivers is that customers tend to burn them out by overpowering the input side of the module. In other words, the module gets damaged from the overabundance of incoming light. This tends to happen more often with longer reach parts. These parts have more sensitive receivers than shorter reach parts, so they tend to overload more easily and cause premature end of life. But you can avoid this by looking at the data sheet for the optical transceiver, making sure that you're under the overload and under the damage threshold for the product. You can monitor this by using the digital optical monitoring screen, which shows the transmit and receive powers. Take a look at the receive power to make sure that it's not too high, which causes burnouts, or that it's not too low, which causes errors. So all in all, as long as you're within these thresholds, you should be good to go. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the ad on YouTube channel for more fiber optic solutions. We'll see you next time.